Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detail. Today's video is all about giving three-way a go along with the claying rubber from Bowden's Own. Bowden's Own recently released a product called 3-Way along with the claying rubber. Now, 3-Way is a chemical decontamination product that helps remove embedded iron particles across the paintwork, helping prep the surface for protection or correction then protection. The claying rubber was made to be used not only but mainly in conjunction with 3-Way to help complement for a more thorough clean, similar to that of a clay bar. Now, I'm going to be going into more detail with both of these products during the test to hopefully find out if they're worth it. I'll be using this white Subaru XV, specifically choosing a white car as it'll give us the best possible chance of seeing if there's a reaction of any iron fallout across the surface turning to a vibrant purple. The car is also pretty filthy, so before jumping straight into it, I'll be giving it a thorough wash and dry before moving on. I wouldn't go out of my way to say it desperately needs the three-way and claying treatment, but it still needed a bath and this video was a must, so I think I'll let it pass. Due to the fact that I'm giving this car essentially a strip wash, it's important to start off with a soap that is free of all those waxes, as they'll only be removed anyway. The product that I'm using for the wheels is called Wheelie Clean. It's actually one of the original chemical decom products that I use from Bowden's Own. It's not the best, or should I say, not specifically made for that job, as it was kind of restrictive, as I had to be very wary of the temperature to ensure that it wouldn't bake onto the paintwork. I gave it a bit of that foaming action to loosen the immediate dirt across the surface and let it rest to help drag it off before then rinsing it off. The usual two bucket wash was up next as the final washing stage, working over each panel at a time and finally drying with a very plush cuddly Tempest towel. I moved the car under cover and gave it a little inspection, finding the usual hard set on bug splats and other mess. Pressure washing still can't remove a lot of that, which is just fine as that's where the claying rubber comes into play, but just not yet. So the first reason as to how 3-Way earned its name is because it obviously is the iron remover, but it also acts as a clay lubricant and wax or sealant remover. I grab 3-Way and spray a generous amount over half the bonnet, and there's a specific reason as to why I only did half, and no, it's not because I'm too lazy to do the whole bonnet. Once I let it rest for a few minutes, I had a good look over it to see if there was much of a reaction, specifically looking for those purple spots. There wasn't actually a massive reaction, but now before people out there get annoyed saying where's my purple spots, don't be upset as this is actually not a bad thing. It means that your car is free of a lot of that iron fallout. I pulled out the claying rubber and gave it three sprays of three-way and began working in straight motions using minimal if no pressure at all. Even though the pad was large and is kind of thick, you can still get a good feel for how it's working, as some dirtier areas being grippier than others needing more work. Great thing about the claying rubber is that if you're clumsy like me and accidentally drop it, you don't need to worry about chucking it out like you would with the clay bar. You can simply rinse it in a bucket of clean water and keep going. We're not here just to clean the surface of iron, but also strip the paintwork of any existing protectants, which comes back to why I only did half the bonnet. Once rinsing it off, there should be a noticeable difference of how the water behaves on the car. You can see that the water is pooling and not beating really at all on the strip side, which is exactly what we're after. It's telling me that it's doing its job even though we couldn't see it happening. I was content with how things were going so I continued over the rest of the car, the claying rubber making short work due to its size and ease of use over each panel. I should also mention that after each panel you should continuously dunk the claying rubber into a bucket of fresh clean water to rinse off any excess impurities. The car was left feeling slick looking clean and to just double check how well it removes that iron fallout, I spray it over where it had already been to see if there was any reaction. Great to see though that there was actually no reaction to be seen at all, which tells me it did a fantastic job of removing that grotty unwanted mess. Once I was done using 3-Way and the claying rubber, I gave the car another quick suds down to avoid leaving any of the product on the surface. Even though it's relatively safe compared to other chemical decom products, I still want it all gone. 
I wanted to make the most of the car being completely stripped, so the next day, after washing it yet again, I gave it a once over with Bowden's own Paint Cleanse and Restore. Not a correction product, what it does is literally in its name. This was another recommended product to use to get the most out of your protectants that you choose to layer on. All I was using was my ShineMate Dual Action Polisher with a soft pad on a low speed. This will also help bring I guess a little bit of pop back into the paintwork. Once this was completed, I gave it a coating of Bowden's own Fully Slick to finish the job. The car has now been cleaned, cleansed and protected, looking and feeling 100% better. So to recap, 3-Way did a great job of removing the iron fallout and existing wax from the car with the help of the clang rubber. I could imagine it'd do a decent job even without the extra help of the clang rubber, but I've never done a chemical decon alone, so there's no real pressure for that. It worked well as a lubricant too, preventing the clang rubber from gripping in spots and it's also a massive bonus how fast both of them work together. You're not sacrificing quality of work for speed either. I used the old clay bar as a comparison, but there was simply no competition. The clang rubber is just superior. Also, I was told from a member of Bowden Zone that the clang rubber had already been used on over 50 cars by a professional detailer, so that's a decent sign that it lasts well. An important thing to note here when looking after the clang rubber is don't go scrunching it up and keep it in a clean, dry area. It'll likely get sticky after the first use, but that's perfectly fine. So would I say both of these are worth it? 100% yes. They're saving me time and there's no real pressure with using them in the warmer weather, which is a big plus as I don't have a garage to work in. Usually I'm quite restricted with the heat, but even if this product does dry, it's not a big issue as it can simply be rinsed off. The claying rubber trumps the clay bar as it's faster, easier and you don't need to stress with dropping it, although don't go doing it on purpose now that I've said it. The larger surface also prevents uneven pressure points that can occur when claying, which can lead to unnecessary gripping and grabbing on the surface. Three-way is a pH neutral formula safe to be used on all modern clear coated cars. All good for headlights, plastics, glass, chrome and rubber. It also won't be removing any existing ceramic coatings, which is perfect for my car. That's it for this video, hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out some of my other uploads and I'll catch you all later.